guys welcome to a new get wrecked news video and today i want to talk about some new ubisoft stuff because there is some news tom henderson a really good um industry insider journalist in the gaming industry has a really big article on xfire about several new ubisoft games and updates for ubisoft games that have already been announced so let's see what he is saying according to several sources with direct knowledge of ubisoft plans we can report that a big game showcase event from the french publisher has been in the works for some time to avoid game announcements being drowned out by the competition the event was meant to go ahead before this year's rumored e3 however recent world events seemingly put those plans on hold okay so there's supposed to be this really big uh, showcase this year for uh, ubisoft with a lot of updates towards uh, titles that have already been announced as well as new games and some of these new games are pretty big let's go all over them he has them all um in a list compiled so that's pretty easy for me i will not be going over every game on this list because there are so many games there are a little a few games that i just don't that i do not care about whatsoever some mobile games um if you want to see everything i will put this article in the description down below if you want to see it in big detail but i will be covering uh the biggest titles so skull and bones ubisoft recently opened up applications for public testing of skull and bones and cfo frederick doggy uh, i don't know i i probably spelled this uh, wrong is very happy with its progress the title will be multiplayer first and focuses on ship combat we currently there's current no current uh, plans for combat on land these this basically aligns with rumors that i've seen in the past about skull and bones but it seems that the development now is going smoothly after some rough development ubisoft had with skill and bones they didn't really know what they wanted to do with skill and bones do they want to have this multiplayer alone uh, type of experience or is there going to be exploration in the game on islands but it seems that it will be multiplayer alone with uh, the naval combat uh, apparently there is public testing for the game so that's pretty exciting he has for the release date april 2022 to march 2023 just an estimate of a really rough estimate of a, uh, a like a half a year almost more even like a year could be coming this fall or could be basically coming uh begin next year so pretty realistic Avatar Frontiers of Pandora Not many details concerning Avatar Frontiers of Pandora have been revealed of late. However, Ubisoft is keen to show off more of the title and a new trailer has been created. Okay, so uh, there is a new trailer basically ready. Uh, Massive Entertainment recently started sending out playtest invites to external QA testers. Okay, so that's a good sign. Uh, it's basically in the testing phase and there isn't any more news on that front uh yes the same release date uh prediction april 2022 until march 2023 so this year or early q1 next year the division heartland now this is a game that i don't really ca care about because it's a free to play fps division game uh, but i will mention it we already covered many key details of the division heartlands uh, according to those who played the game it feels almost ready to release now that's not really uh, uh, the biggest statement so basically uh, scheduled like release date uh, prediction is the same april 2022 until march 2023 um he, he did say likely mid 2022 because it's a free-to-play game I, um, it's basically maybe already done uh who knows I don't really care i don't really care about this one immortals phoenix rising sequel so here we have a big surprise 
Ubisoft was apparently pleased with the performance of 2022's Immortals Phoenix Rising. Um, the title is in pre-production stage and is presumably in development by Ubisoft Quebec, who is also working on a new Assassin's Creed title. Okay, so um, the release, release date for this one is unknown. It's basically in pre-production, but it's, a, it's pretty... Uh, interesting that this one is getting a sequel uh i i i don't haven't seen really anywhere else game uh, gamers that were a fan of immortals phoenix rising i haven't i haven't played it myself uh because the reviews were a little bit mediocre maybe i will play it someday uh if the sequel looks promising uh but an, a, a, an immortals phoenix rising sequel that's a pretty nice surprise and then there we have a really big game, Assassin's Creed Rift. Okay, so I haven't seen this title, Rift, apparently, okay. Assassin's Creed Rift was first reported in February and aims to fill in a thin near-term release schedule, according to Jason Schreier at Bloomberg. If you guys don't know who Jason Schreier is, uh, if he says something, it's, it's always right. <laughs> Uh, the title will not be a full-fledged Assassin's Creed title and is scheduled to release towards the end of 2022 or 2023. So um, this is basically a time filler for, for the real big Assassin's Creed Infinity. He has release date uh, prediction Q4 2023 or Q2 2023. I saw early leaks of this one. And it was supposed to be Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC, but they made it its own game, basically. We will shall see if it's any good. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are burned out about the Assassin's Creed franchise. I did really like Valhalla, actually, myself. So I will be looking to this game if it's interesting in any way. Assassin's Creed Infinity, the big one. Revealed in July 2021, Assassin's Creed Infinity will be Ubisoft's most ambitious Assassin's Creed title to date. It will tie all the future AC titles together in a live service title and is being developed by several Ubisoft studios including Montreal and Quebec. So this is basically a live service Assassin's Creed where they want to update this game over several years. We shall see about that if that's a success. <laughs> I'm a little bit against that idea. I'm not the biggest fan of live service uh, games, as you guys may know. <laughs> we shall see if, if they can succeed. I guess Halo Infinite is a good live service game, but uh, it even also has problems in the multiplayer front with its progression system. Uh, release dates, he doesn't know. He expects it like 2024, 2025 that's still a long time from now so assassin's creed infinity infinity is uh, pretty far in the future ghost recon frontline uh, this is also a game i don't do not care about <laughs> ghost recon frontline at its closed access tests earlier this year with many details nonetheless servicing online the title received harsh criticism it's, this is basically a Battle Royale uh, Ghost Recon game. Uh, we really don't care about Battle Royale anymore. Um, I've, I never really cared for Battle Royale, to be honest. Um, release date on that, the prediction unknown. He doesn't know. Okay, so this game also had its bullshit NFTs uh, that Ubisoft wanted to put in. Uh, no thanks, Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, no NFTs please so prince of persia sense of time remake uh that's a game i'm a little bit more interested in not much has been said about the prince of persia sense of time remake but the game is still in active development uh and that's all he has he has basically nothing <laughs> on sense of time uh release date unknown uh, i thought it was already delayed once so i i I could see this releasing at the end of this year or next year, um, if you want to have my opinion on that. And then, uh, a big surprise, a Prince of Persia unknown title, so a new game, 
A second Prince of Persia title is reportedly in the works at Ubisoft. With Ubisoft Montpellier, if I spelled that wrong, saying that wrong, sorry, being involved in the project, the game was described as taking inspiration from Ori and will be 2.5D game. This is basically a smaller scale game from maybe a support studio, um, like to just have a game out basically uh, to fill the gap, shall I say, for Ubisoft. Uh, with a unknown release date. Uh, another game that I'm actually interested in. This is a big one. Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil 2. The title has suffered from many problems the past uh, years. With some comments from developers to me in November 2021. Suggesting that the game could be canned. Ooh, oh, that's not good. Ouch. Despite the comments, it appears Beyond Good and Evil 2 now lies in Ubisoft's category of we have spent too much and can't give up now. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, that doesn't really forebode something good. I wouldn't be expecting to hear much about Beyond Good and Evil 2 for a while. Okay, that's uh, not good. Release date? Um, just no no predictions. <laughs> it's it's in development hell. And then lastly that I want to talk about is Splinter Cell Remake. In October I leaked via VGC at Ubisoft had greenlit a new Splinter Cell title which would then be confirmed by Ubisoft a short while later. The Splinter Cell Remake is still in very early production and although it probably won't release until 2024 at the earliest we could see some form of CGI trailer to help boost talent interest for the project if Ubisoft thinks that is required. required. So this remake, the Splinter Cell remake is done by Ubisoft Toronto. The release date basically unknown 2024 it could be just like that's like an, a guess because uh, it's just started development we shall see i'm interested in splinter cell remake i've heard good things about splinter cell i never played those games myself but a cool stealth action game i am for that so that's all uh, i have now on this ubisoft news a lot of news on different games new games like the new uh assassin's creed rift that is pretty big as well as a new immortals phoenix rising sequel uh pretty cool news there let me guy uh, let let me know guys what you think of this news in the comment section down below give us a like that would be really cool thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye